out to the doctor's office. It's about quarter to eight. And I'm not very far. And uh, about a mile down the road, my phone started ringing. And of course, I don't have the capability of answering my phone when I'm driving. I don't have the hands-free stuff and whatnot. And then I heard, I could tell that they left a message. So I pulled over and found a place to pull over to see what it was and it started ringing again and this guy just it came to a stop right in front of me um, and it started ringing as I pulled over so I answered it and it was the doctor's office calling me for the second time to set up my virtual appointment I'm like what? I said no I'm on the way out there right now to to my doctor's appointment the traffic's really Maybe I'm driving too fast. This guy just pulled right in front of me. But anyway, so I guess we're good. Now the light's yellow. So now I guess we're good. I'm a little frustrated. Last time I came out here, we got all the way out here, and they turned me down because I didn't have the right insurance. <laughs> so we had to go through and fix all that, and that took over a month. So now I'm finally getting out here to my appointment, so. But it looks like everything's good, so I'll go inside and get everything taken care of. Okay, I'm here, waiting for the doctor to come in. Alrighty, done with the appointment. And it went pretty good. Okay, I just got home. Or rather, I just got out of the doctor's office. Everything went really good. I was in that room where the blinds are opened up the left of that tree and everything went good uh, everything checked out good he was pretty happy with everything except my weight and my blood pressure but that's going to be fixable by losing some weight so he wrote me a prescription for the um, <clears throat> compression stockings again I asked him to do that because I couldn't afford it before because insurance wouldn't pay for any of that stuff and those things are really expensive so we're going to give this a shot and see if the insurance will my new insurance will pay for that kind of stuff so I got a prescription I just got to go see talk to them about it and see if they'll cover it and all that and as far as the tick bite goes um, he said there's probably nothing to worry about that uh, Lyme disease and all that stuff is pretty rare here it's more prevalent in other parts of the country but you know he told me what to look out for I would if I start feeling you know got a fever and felt like I had the flu or something like that that could be a pretty good indication and uh, also the the wound itself if it got much more swollen and you know painful it uh, would mean that I need to give them a call and come in and have something done so all in all it went good and I'm ready to go back home and have a nice enjoyable day at home and one other thing uh, because my blood pressure was kind of high and I I have a blood pressure unit at home they want me to bring mine out in two weeks and just have it uh, tested out here compared to uh, their units because mine may be off so I guess I'll do that.